Here's a quick tip on how to make your maps look better. If you're mapping small areas in a Coroplast map like this, where the colour represents a value, and you have lots of small areas, the default line width of 0 0.26, usually dark colour like black, can be a bit visually dominant. I'll zoom in here, and yes, we can see the pattern, but the visual impact of all that dark colour is a little bit overwhelming. You might not think that, but let's have a little look at how we can change that. So this is the default line width of 0 0.26. If I double click the name of the layer on the left to go to properties and then symbology, I can change the colour of all the outlines. Now if I go to symbol and click the drop down to configure symbol. And then I'll click on simple fill. And I can see the stroke colour so let me click that colour patch. The stroke colour is completely black and the thickness of the stroke is 0 0.26. That's just too thick at the moment. So if I click stroke colour and then on to the white and then I'll change the stroke width to 0 0.05. You can experiment with this and it depends what scale you're mapping things at. But in this case, this should look much better. I'll click OK and then check out the difference here. So we're looking at this map. We want to observe the patterns and the changing colours. But at the moment, the black outlines are just dominating in terms of the visual impact. Click Apply. OK. So this can take a little bit of experimentation, of course. Um, you'll need to just use a little bit of common sense in this case. But... For me, this is a lot more effective and I can see the colours a lot better. You can do other things, of course, like if you had, if you wanted to keep it dark, if I went back to configure symbol and click on simple fill, we change the line width. If we kept the colour, maybe not black, but in this case, I often use um, not quite black, but something like this. So this colour code here, 222222. Two, 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 two. It's close to black, but it's not quite as overbearing. I'll click OK and OK and then apply. So that's obviously still a lot better than the original. One of the things you can do with this kind of thing is experiment further. So if I click on that symbol, go to configure symbol, simple fill. So I could change the stroke color here. And I could make it a little bit less dominant, 50% opacity, OK. I could change it to 0 0.1, click OK and apply. OK, so that, that's OK too. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to make sure people can see the colour and the patterns rather than just the outlines. I probably wouldn't use this. I'd probably go back to configure symbol. Let me just use 0 0.05. I'll click OK. And I'll click OK. And then the key thing is if I zoom in, can we still see the boundary line between areas? Yes, but it's quite hard to make out. So I'll double click on it again. I'll go back to configure the symbol. And in simple fill, I'm just going to change the stroke color back to 100% opacity. I'll click OK, OK. And I'll click Apply. So when I click apply, we can see the boundaries again. This is just something that will require a little bit of trial and error. But certainly if I were to change it back to the original, 0 0.26 thickness, you should be able to see how that just creates a situation where the, the black lines are like the most visually dominant thing. And that's not what we want. So change it back one more time. 0 0.05 and click OK and apply. You might find when you export things, they look thicker than they did in the map. So on your screen, if you find 0 0.1 thickness looks quite good, sometimes when you export it at high resolution, those lines will look quite thick. So just experiment with line thickness, but this is one simple way to quickly make your maps look a lot clearer.